love love, don't you? That's why we're here today in my kitchen of love for Valentine's Day, making a summer of love smoothie. Let's jump into these ingredients. The first thing we're going to need is one cup of frozen strawberries, half of a banana, half of a bell pepper chopped, about half a cup of frozen raspberries, one tablespoon of flax meal, one tablespoon of agave nectar, half a cup of pomegranate juice, and half a cup of water. So let's get these ravishing red ingredients into our grinding machine of love. First we'll toss in those frozen strawberries. We'll add a little banana. Toss in that red bell pepper for color and nutrition. Then we'll do the frozen raspberries and our flax meal. We'll just sweeten it up with a little bit of agave nectar. We'll liquefy it all down with that pomegranate juice. And then you might not need a whole half a cup of water, but just eyeball it and see about what you need to make it blend well. Okay, let's get this love machine shaken. Okay, while that's blending up, let's do a fun fact. Now, speaking of the summer of love, the pagans certainly got in on all of this Valentine's Day celebration action. They celebrated at the Ides of February, which is right around the 14th. Now, Lupercalia was a fertility festival dedicated to Faunus, a Roman god of agriculture. To begin the festival, members of the Luperci, an order of the Roman priests, would gather at a sacred cave where they would sadly sacrifice an animal. Then they would take the hide, dip it into the blood, and take to the streets, slapping women and crop fields with the hide. Now, people actually welcomed the touch of this hide because it was believed to make them more fertile for the coming year. So, let's see if this smoothie gives us any kind of fertility boost. I can smell the red bell pepper from here. Mmm, and I can taste it really well but it actually works so nicely with the raspberries and the strawberries. I think you're gonna like it. Plus it's got a nice sort of peachy color. Well, you tell me what you think in the comments section below. And that's it for this one. Happy Valentine's Day.